Now that our microphone is set up and working, we're ready to record our first episode of our podcast. Now I've got a little script script printed out and I recommend having a script or at least an outline um, written up just to make this process uh, a little bit easier if you just wing it. Um, it takes a lot more tries so I do recommend taking the time to make a script of some sort. So uh, I have it printed up here and I'm going to read it. Now I do want a little intro uh, to my podcast and a little conclusion at the end. I'm just going to record those uh, right now at the same time and I'm going to leave a little gap or a little silence in between. So I'll have three basic pieces, a introduction, the content, and then a uh, conclusion or the ending piece. So Audacity is a track-based um, audio editor and audio recorder. So when I click the big red record button, um, it's going to start, it'll make a new track for me and then start recording on that track. So let's give it a try. Hello and welcome to Tim's podcast. In this episode we're going to talk about the thermometer. The tool that measures temperature is the thermometer. The scale used by most scientists is the Celsius scale named after Anders Celsius. Celsius. He developed the scale where zero degrees is the point at which water turns to ice and 100 degrees is the point at which water boils. This unit of temperature is known as degrees Celsius. Thanks for listening. In next week's episode we talk about the Fahrenheit scale. Okay, so now I'm going to I click just click the stop button, and that's my recording of my podcast. Now that was the first take. Um, I might give that another take uh, since I was um, a little distracted, but no big deal. Let's go now and uh, see what happens if we zoom in and out. So there's a couple of tools up here, little toolbar right in the middle or right after our record button, a selection of tools. Now by default I've got this selection tool. There's a tool right underneath it that is the zoom tool. So if I wanted to zoom on in on a particular section, I can use that tool to just zoom in. There's also some zoom tools along the far side here, kind of over towards the right side. Um, obvious, uh, the plus zoom in, zoom out, um, fit selection and fit project. So I don't have anything selected but if I just click this fit project that takes me back basically to a hundred percent where I can see my entire project on my screen. So I recorded for oh gosh almost 50 seconds and if I were to zoom in a bit you can see now I'm only seeing six and a half seconds of my recording. When I do that I get a scroll bar across the bottom where I can scroll to see that my whole project. And sometimes you need to be zoomed in to do some, you know, fine editing. But eventually you're going to want to zoom all the way out so you can see how the whole project is fitting together. Now, when I record, um, what I'm looking for is this nice full waveform. That's these curves that you see happening here. I like them to be, um, you know, about halfway up the, the screen here. Now. Um, when I was recording, there's a levels meter right here, and I'm going to click record again um, just so we can see that. And as I, oops, that kind of started and started and stopped. Let's try that again. So you can see when that started recording, there was some green bars going here that were um, uh, showing me the input volume of my microphone. And I want those to be mostly green. Uh, and hitting the yellow and the red occasionally but not very often hitting the red so if that um, if those levels meters are not all the way to the top then you need to go back to uh, your Windows uh, sound control in the control panel and increase the input volume. 